this patient decided they needed to put them on an oscillator. And the patient's on an oscillator for a while. So you walk in, they're already on it. They have their settings. Their oxygenation is low. Their PAO2 is low. Last Last year. Year. What's your first setting that you need to change? Your math. Does everybody agree with that? Yeah. All right. So I'm going to change up my math from like, let's say 24 to 25, 26. And their stats go up a little bit. And then a little while later, they're still maintaining kind of low and you decide to go up again. You go up to what? 27. It's just tell me a higher number. So, like one to two higher. 27. 27. And then all of a sudden they start to plummet. What do you do? So, all right. What did I say we started with? 24. 24. And of math. And their stats were, I'm going to say, 86%. And so you come in and you say, okay, I'm going to go up to 26. <clears throat> and, or 25, or whatever increments they feel comfortable going up in. So we go up a little bit and they go to like 88, 89, we'll say 89. You're like, oh, okay, I'm doing okay, but I want that better. I'm going to go up again. We're just going to say even like 27. They go to like I don't know, 90, maybe 89, 90 still, and they're still hovering there. I'm gonna go up one more time. Mind you, this is 30 minutes at a time, right? Mm -hmm. Right? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. And I decide, you know what, I'm gonna make a big jump, I'm gonna go up to 29. Oh, nice. And then this is what happens. What do you do? Decrease it. Okay, first of all, good rule of thumb. If you make a change and a negative impact happens, reverse, reverse your decision. <laughs> That's kind of common sense, okay? But what's happening here? So I'm doing this to my alveoli. And this is my chest wall. So this has gone down because I have too much compression on the heart. So you go back and it's okay if they maintain at 90. If they're on fractured hypoxemia, we expect that. All right, so now, there, you're not gonna have this problem a whole lot, but this patient is hypercapnic on an oscillator, or hypercapnic. <clears throat> What setting change are you going to make first? But my setting, my power is at eight. What are you going to do? My power setting. Because the power knob controls the amplitude. I'm going to increase it to nine. Well, you're actually going to increase it not by the power setting. You're going to inc increase it by what the amplitude readout says. Okay. So you're looking for a higher amplitude, so you get it by turning it off. Well, it doesn't do the trick, so they said go up on it again. So I go up on it again. But you're at a 9.8. Okay. Okay. And the doctor says go up on the amplitude some more. Can you increase it any higher? Is that your, should you be changing the amplitude still? Okay, actually that is the perfect answer, but you don't really seem to know why. <laughs> so amplitude, I'm going to go up on my power, I'm going to go up on my power. There is a max power. What is it? I've turned it and 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 I've turned
turned it and I've run out of turning. The knob will not turn anymore. Okay? So then what do you do? Anybody, come on. Let's go. The hertz. What are you going to do with the hertz? Okay, you're just giving me answers without really understanding why. What are you going to do with your hertz? Well, why? It makes more we, waves. We said we open up like uh, the, yes, the wave will open up the widen. So what's my total volume look like up here? It's smaller. What's my total volume look like here? Uh, All right. So here's what I'm going to do. My my have a high CO2. I'm hypercapnic. All right. So a high CO2. I'm going to first do what? Increase my power which increases my amplitude, which I'm actually measuring to change this. I'm gonna change the knob without even looking at the power setting. I'm not gonna say, ooh, I'm going to eight. Ooh, I'm going to nine. I don't care what that says. I'm gonna document what it says, but I don't care what it says. What I'm looking for is, what is my amplitude saying on the monitor? It's like if you were setting your pressure control according to what your PIP reading would be. If your monitor value of PIP is 28, and you were trying to get to that, you would increase your pressure control to get to that point. Okay? It's the same concept. If I need to increase my amp, I'm going to look at my amp and I'm going to turn my power knob. Okay, but your power knob has a max of 10. And if you go up and up and up and up on your amp and you get to like what you think is max, then what's your second option? Your hertz. But what are you doing with your hertz? Increase the volume. It looks like that. It increases your tidal volume when you go down on your hertz. All right? And then it still doesn't work. You do it a couple of times and it still doesn't work. What are your other options? The circuit. Okay, bias flow. Bias flow is the other one. So, no, y'all are correct. I just wanted to be one So, you have a cuff leak, which usually they don't use all the time, but that is an option, and your bias flow. And again, they might look at you and you're crazy if you change that, but it is an acceptable answer. Okay? It's all in the comfort of people and their culture. All right, so we're going to take a quick break.